If I had to choose one fish species that I could put on my menu that would say to my diners, welcome to Maine, I think I would have to say haddock. Yes, I know, we have lobster, we have whole belly clams, but we're talking whitefish here. One of the great things about haddock is its versatility. It's suitable for baking, frying, stuffing. There's so many avenues and culinary approaches that you can take with haddock. And probably one of the most recognized haddock dishes is the baked haddock, which is a filet of seasoned haddock cooked with butter and topped with breadcrumbs. Simple and easy. And that's why we're baking haddock today. So we can do it a little differently while still making it approachable and allowing your guests to know that they're in Maine. And this baked haddock is gonna start with grilled corn. That's right, corn and haddock go hand in hand. Or should I say fin to fin? Anyways, we seasoned our corn, grilled it off while it was still on the cob, took it off the cob, and now it's gonna be part of our baked haddock dish. Got these individual pans, thin layer, and I gotta say, it smells like a grill. We're gonna to top our corn with a pat of butter because you gotta have lots of butter bub when you're eating haddock and corn. So anyways, we're gonna to top our corn and butter with a medallion of haddock. So I've cut it into about two, two and a half ounce uh, medallions. So I'm gonna layer it. We're gonna add another layer of corn, or as the tourists like to call it, corn. More butter, and then you guessed it, Look at that, that is gonna be super delicious and it's absolutely one of the simplest things that you can put on your menu. And you can easily build these a day in advance if you're working with fresh seafood. I'm gonna top it with a sprinkling of fresh oregano, a little bit of salt, some black pepper, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, and one more pat of butter. Does that not look awesome? We're gonna place it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. You might be thinking that most baked haddocks that you've had have some sort of a breadcrumb or a Ritz cracker or something buttery on top. We probably don't need any more butter in this dish. However, I agree and need some sort of a topping. So that's where these delicious crispy onions come in. And we're gonna serve it with a skewer of grilled potatoes. You can sprinkle some corn on the plate. And this is my interpretation of an elevated baked haddock. That is good. Buttery flaky fish with grilled corn, oregano, and crispy onions. Come on. That's awesome. Wow, that is good. To see more recipes, go to dennisexpress.com slash chef.